think I know everybody, but just in case, I'm Ian Jamison, or as I've been kind of labelled, Jamo, by the club. Um, Mark has asked me to welcome everybody to the inaugural Switzerland to Italy Taramara tour. Inaugural? I think so. First one. We, yeah. we have been in Switzerland before, but and and um, having said it's inaugural, yeah, quick. <laughs> I really got to say right up front that we have with us, and probably why we're here is we have some real Swiss people in our midst. Veronica and Rolf, as you know. Okay. <laughs> And so, if you've got any questions at all about Switzerland or Swiss culture or anything else to do with Switzerland, I suggest Veronica doesn't want your questions. <laughs> so anybody, everybody welcome. It's fantastic to be kicking off another tour. I've done a few of these over the years, probably too many, Mark's looking at me, quite a few. Um, it's going to be a fantastic couple of weeks for everybody, as you know. You're going to enjoy some unbelievably scenic rides, uh, some tough hills, I should say, some absolutely spectacular scenery, some really nice food, wine, and great company for everybody. So that's what you've got to look forward to. Um, I wanted to introduce actually the key members of the support team, um, other than Mark, he'll get his chance uh, in a moment. I've already mentioned Veronica. Um, Meredith is hiding somewhere. Meredith over here is also part of our team. Matty, sorry, our cameraman, um, is also part of the team. And have I left anybody out? No, oh, I don't think oh, so. Me, oh, me. Sorry, AJ. Can, can I have a mention as well? Of the, team. Thank okay. you. Um, <laughs> the reason I do this is because we're all more or less empowered to answer questions. Um, but we'll do our best to answer any questions that, that you might have. Please don't hesitate to ask us about anything that you would like to know. Um, I'm just going to check my email. Sorry, my notes. Um, Mark asked me to make just a few points for the riders, okay? So there'll obviously be a lot of detailed briefing every day for the riders, but there's a few sort of overarching things which we just need to keep in mind the whole time for the riders. And the first one really is be safe and have fun, okay? But be safe is really the main motto for the entire tour. And there's a few things that that sort of means. For example, when you're going down some of those really steep hills, which you will be, having gone up those steep hills beforehand, just kind of turn the dial down a bit and go down at 70%. Is it 70? 70, 80%. 70, well, 80, 80 max, you know. Just kind of think, you know, look, I could really go at 100% down this hill, but I'm only going to go at 70%. Just do that for safety, okay? So that's something to always keep in mind, please. Um, the other thing which is different to our sort of normal rides at home, where we tend to sort of wait for each other at the top of the hills, okay? It's a little bit different over here because what you'll find at the top of the hills is if you're the first one up there, you may freeze to death by the time the rest of the, of the bunch gets there. So, Generally, unless otherwise kind of instructed for the riders, it's kind of regroup at the bottom of the hill, having gone up, across the top, and down to the other side again, okay? So we kind of regroup at the bottom of the hill, having done the climb. And the other thing for the riders, I don't want to go to rules and so on, but just be really careful with the bikes and the equipment. We've got a few thousand dollars worth of bikes sitting in the room down there. Um, including my own extremely valuable bike and so I'd like you to just be aware of it, be careful and Mark is our, is our biggest friend on this in terms of the care that we get for our bikes. What it means is that, Mike, that, that Mark looks after the bikes, he basically decides you know, what we're doing in terms of putting them away, storing them, getting them out, etc. He's happy to take it on, 
happy to do it. He looks after the bikes. And for the riders, one of the key things is when you've finished your ride, take all your own gear off the bike because it will be put away, it'll be secure, it'll be carefully handled, but you won't have access to it. So take your drink bottles and your, you know, computers and your lights and whatever you've got. Um, those, the, really, those are the three sort of overarching things. Just take care, take care with with the bike and um, with all those things. Um, finally, and this is in my mind as being kind of a leader of, and this is thanks to John G. Now, it's it was called the Steady Group, the group that ride with me, but it's now called the Smooth and Steady Group. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the Smooth and Steady Group. And so I'm mindful of my role kind of leading the smooth and steady group. Please just remember that if you change your plan or you want to do something different during the ride, just tell one of us what you're doing. We don't want to have to sort of send out a search party at you know, 10 o'clock at night to find someone halfway up a hill somewhere that couldn't get up the hill that they thought they could. Just communicate, just kind of Tell somebody what you're doing if you're kind of moving outside the, the, the general ride kind of parameters for the day. It's really important. Communicate, tell us what you want to do. Obviously you could do your own thing, but tell someone. Uh, I think that I've probably said enough in terms of instructions and so on. I'll get up later. But what I really want to do is let you have your main courses now and let Mark say a few words to um, give you the real instructions after you've had your main course. Welcome to everybody.